Dad, has it always been this way? Well, even from the beginning, men hated Jesus. Even though he did nothing but love them and teach them and heal them, they nailed him to a cross. And they thought they had killed him, but they only set him free to live in the hearts of people like you and me who believe in him. Then came the apostles, and most of them were killed for telling other people about Jesus. But by that time, it was too late. There were hundreds of people who believed in Jesus. So they tortured them and killed them, and they even left their bodies to rot as an example to other people. But the church kept right on growing, watered by the blood of these precious saints. But Dad, did they want to die? No. They didn't want to die. I mean, many of them had children just like you that they had to leave behind. But they were forced to make a choice. I mean, they could choose to live this one life here on earth and reject Jesus and be damned. Or they could choose to believe in the words of Jesus and live forever. I think I understand. Here, maybe this will help you understand. I have heard how Christians long ago were brought before a tyrant's throne. And they were told that he would spare their lives if they would renounce the name. A great angelic wise I can almost hear their voices ring Now our time has come to count the cost To reject this world, to embrace the cross And one by one let us live our lives For the one who died to give us life To the trumpet sound on the final day Let us proudly stand And boldly say I pledge allegiance To the land With all my strength With all I am I will seek to honor His command wasn't always this way. I mean, my dad could even pray in school. Of course, they took that away from him. and Then it became incorrect 
for us to believe in the Bible. And after that, they just stripped our right to worship away from us, and we, we quietly stood by. But son, I hope that you're never put in a position that you have to choose between your faith and your life. But if you are, I know which choice you're going to make. Because I know that Jesus lives inside of you. In the meantime, just pray like I taught you how to. And take care of your mom. And remember that God is the Father of the fathers. I